हर घट तक है तेरी कहानी पग पग प्यारे दंगल 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 सूरज तेरा चढ़ता ढलता घर दिश में करते हैं तारे दंगल 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 ग्रेट मॉर्निंग डियर फ्रेंड्स आई एम भूपेश आनंद and i will be discussing i will be delivering lecture number 3 today and the topic is cost of capital reading 36 as per cfa curriculum 2018 level 1 we have already discussed two uh, le lectures and that too i have discussed le learning outcome a in last two lectures that what is the meaning of weighted cost of capital and what are the sources of funds in today's lecture number 3 which i am delivering which i am going to deliver in this lecture number 3 i will be focusing on two learning outcomes because i have to link some learning outcomes in this in this cost of capital we will be going somewhat zigzag way not in the not in 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 a in a direct way i will be discussing learning outcome number b as well as learning outcome number f because they are interlinked because there is a linkage between b and f because in b we will be discussing with cost of debt and in f also we will be discussing with cost of debt using yt and yield to maturity which we have discussed in fixed fixed income elevation so my dear friends today's lecture will be most important and most technical lecture all cost of lecture ask like, all cost of capital lectures are very technical lectures because the more the concepts are hidden in that so we will dig out those concepts and we will discuss each and every point within the meantime you please take out your cost of debt cost of debt or a bond so these are the two parties which are there one is the entity the entity the investee entity and second is the investor the, this person has invested his hard earned money in an organization in an entity and the and the instrument in in which he has in, invested is either named as a debenture or a bond or a bond and 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 this entity has to pay something has to pay something to this investor that something which this entity has to pay is is cost of debt that is named as cost of debt and now i am i am i am going to utter a most important word the something which is paid by this entity to the investor to the debenture holder it is named as cost of debt it is named as cost of debt it is not interest no doubt entity has to pay a fixed rate of interest to the debenture holders but along with that they have to pay the fair they have to pay the redeemable value at the end of the project at the at the time of redemption so something which is being paid by the entity to the investor that is not just interest cost it is it is something other than that it is i will say it is ytm it is yield to maturity which is being paid by this entity to the debenture holder and it is named as cost of debt so there are two things three things rather one is interest rate interest rate or coupon rate coupon rate is always paid on the face value on the basis of coupon rate that is a separate part that a company has to pay a coupon has to pay a coupon amount on the face value at fixed interval of time generally it is semi annual it can be paid annual coupon is separate but 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 i will say cost of debt is a separate concept cost of debt is something which in totality this entity pays to the investor and that is more than coupon rate now what is ytm so i will say cost which we have discussed in fixed income securities cost of debt cost of debt is ytm of a bond it is not it is not it is not coupon rate i repeat i repeat my dear friends i repeat cost of debt cost of debt is yield to maturity of a bond it is not it is not it is not the coupon rate i will prove this concept because this concept is very important as we proceed in learning outcome number f and as we proceed in learning outcome number b this concept you should be always be clear of which we have already put 
huge emphasis in fixed income securities. So in today's lecture number three, first step will be I want to clear your concepts that the cost of debt is not the coupon rate. Cost of debt is the yield to maturity, yield to maturity of a bond and it can be calculated with the help of a calculator and I with the help of some case studies will explain you how how cost of debt is yield to maturity and how cost of debt is not the coupon rate. So please take out your registers. My dear friends, today's lecture is most important lecture. I will be giving you so many case studies and I will be cross checking all those and I will be telling you the most important concept. So please start write down, writing down, you know, first point is very, 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 very important, which I have already written. So the first point is no doubt I have prepared slides for you my handwritten slides they will they will they will change your life if you note down these there is no need to read that that safe and lengthy curriculum with smaller fonts so let's be together let's take out your calculators as well let's take out your register of corporate finance let's start writing lecture num number three. First point in this lecture I will be discussing with learning outcome number B, B for Bombay, B for boy and learning outcome number F, F, F for frog. These two learning outcomes I will be discussing and I have written that. I have written there what these learning outcome emphasize on learning outcome number B is effect of tax on cost of capital and learning outcome number F is calculation and interpretation of cost of debt using yield to maturity. So I today will be putting more emphasis on how to calculate or what is the meaning of cost of debt using yield to maturity. Why TM? So please write down point number one. Please write down point number one. I have given three stars. Cost of debt slash bond. Cost of debt slash bond is yield to maturity of a bond and it is not the coupon rate. Cost of debt or a bond is yield to maturity and it is not the coupon rate. Cost of debt or a cost of a bond is yield to maturity of a bond and it is not the coupon rate. This, this point I want to clarify. So again, please write down point number two. Cost of debt slash bond is YTM and not the coupon rate. Again, I have written the same statement. It means you have to write down two times. Because this statement is very important. So you have to write down two times that cost of debt or a bond is yield to maturity of a bond and not the coupon rate. Cost of debt or or a bond is yield to maturity of a bond and not the coupon rate. Coupon rate is the interest rate which a company pays to debenture holder on the face value. But 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 cost of debt is something other than that. Cost of debt is something other than that. So let me clear that. What is that? For now, for explaining it, I have to tell you what is or how we can calculate value of a bond that is covered, which we have discussed in fixed income securities, fixed income bearing securities, bond valuation. What is bond valuation? What is value of a bond? So, so it means it is a market value of bond that is present value of all. If I add the present value of all future cash flows. All future cash flows which a bond holder will get by buying this bond. It means interest amount he will be getting as well as the redeemable value at the end of the project at the time of redemption. So this total, this total, the total amount which a bond holder will be getting, the total amount which the bond holder will be getting by investing in a bond. If I calculate the present value of those future cash inflows, if I calculate the present value of those future cash inflows, that is named as, that is named as market value of a bond. So, so how, so I, I will be using the concept of bond valuation because it will help me in telling you how cost of debt is YTM and how cost of debt is not coupon rate. So, so let me write down, let me please write down the case study. I will be discussing with this case study I have prepared for you. Following are the features I have given you for a bond. Following are the features. The face value of a bond, if it is not, it will be generally taken as $1,000 or 1,000 rupees. 
and and the coupon rate which is paid on the face value is 2 10% that is interest rate maturity is 5 years and ytm is 12% so i want to explain how how cost of debt is 12% and it is not it is not 10% it is not 10% so please take out your calculators i have written the steps even that how we can calculate with the help of a calculator i have prepared a timeline i have prepared a timeline that debenture holder will be getting interest amount at equal interval of time so from t0 to t5 i have written there 100 100 100 100 how 100 has calculated 10% of 1000 face value is 10 1000 coupon rate is 10% so 10% of 1000 is comes to 100 so i have written 100 six times five times and the redeemable value is 1000 Redeemable value is one thousand. So, if I want to calculate with the help of a calculator, so following are the steps I have used. I have I have used. It means I want to calculate the present value. I am given with the future value. This is the future value that is redeemable value which a bond holder will be getting. So, how much is the how much is the current or current value that is named as market value or value. of a bond so this is named as value of a bond so so it is a very simple concept i will add all those cash inflows future cash inflows i will calculate the present value and the total figure will be named as that figure is named as you know that figure is named as value of a bond so let us do with the help of a calculator please take out your calculator my dear friends so i have i have I have I have taken the calculator and I will be doing for you. Please start doing it. I want to. I want to do it with the help of a calculator. So first step is second clear TVM. Second clear TVM. Second clear TVM. Second clear TVM. So hundred is the amount and one thousand is the face value. So one thousand. One thousand is future value. I have written future value and hundred. I am using TVM row. Hundred is PMT monthly payment, uh, yearly payment, equal payment. That is hundred and five as N, five as N, five as N, and twelve as IY. Twelve as IY compute. present value and it is coming to be 927.90 it means if a investor invest 927 rupees 927 rupees today today then this investor will be getting 100 rupees as interest in 5 years and 1000 rupees as redeemable value at the end of 5th year or in other words we can say the market value the total present value of all those cash inflows which a debenture holder will be getting in coming 5 years including redeemable value is 927 rupees or the market value of this bond is 927 rupees or market value should be 927 rupees and if the market value is more than 927 rupees it means it is a case of over value and if if market value is less than 927 rupees it means it is a case of under value so that concept i have already told you how to calculate under value or over value i am not going to that under value or over value i want to put emphasis on I have used IY interest rate as twelve percent and coupon amount permanent that is equal payment as for for that I have used ten percent. So so I have written the steps also. Just see to it. Following are the steps in regard to calculator second clear TVM second 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 clear TVM hundred per as my payment. Equal payment one thousand face value five as n interest y I have used twelve percent I I I have used the rate as twelve percent this is y T M and how I have calculated hundred that is coupon rate is ten percent face value is one thousand so that comes to hundred so this is hundred this is hundred so this is coupon interest this is coupon and and nine twenty seven rupees point something. So I have written nine hundred twenty-seven rupees. 
it means the value of this bond is 927 rupees now i want to prove that if how cost of debt is not 10% and how it is 12% as ytl now supposingly i am given with present value of 927 supposingly in a bond i am given with that 927 is a present value 1000 as a future value and and 100 rupees as a interest then how much is iy if i want to calculate iy because interest rate because that is that is nothing but ytm so i can prove that it comes to 12% so with the help of proving that 12% I can tell you that cost of debt is not open rate rather cost of debt is yield to maturity. So please use your calculators again. I, I will tell you how I can easily calculate 12%. So I am again using second clear TVM, second clear TVM, 927, 927 as a present value, as a present value, 927 as a present value this is minus so i have entered that 927 future value is 1000 so i think there is some mistake i, I did okay no problem for that second clear tvm i will be using 1000 as future value this, so this is 1000 as future value then 927 as present value so this is present value and then 5 as n okay this is 5 as n now i want to compute now and and 100 is and 100 is equal payment so that is equal payment okay now i want to compute present value i want to compute some some error is there so as some error is there i have written these steps please see to it or firstly write on note number one coupon amount which i have calculated is 10 percent of 1000 that comes to 100 market value of a bond is a present value future cash must discounted at ytm this is most important note number two the market value of a bond market value of a bond market value of the bond is present value of future cash flows market value of a bond is present value of future cash flows discounted at ytm note number three debenture holder or investor is earning coupon rate is not earning coupon rate rather earning ytm so ytm is cost of debt so true cost of debt is not coupon rate rather it is ytm so again i have done it cross checking just see to it just see to it i have i have written cross i i have cross checked it with the help of a calculator with the help of a calculator second clear tvm 927.70 plus minus that is present value then 1000 then 1000 as future value 1000 as future value 100 as permanent as equal payment 100 as equal payment 5 as n compute iy and iy is coming as 12 percent iy is coming as 12 percent i can tell you with the help of a calculator also there is some some problem in that in, in the software of this no problem with that again i'm doing it for you second clear tvm second clear tvm second clear tvm nine nine hundred twenty seven is the present value one thousand one thousand okay okay one thousand I, I i have to put the minus sign that's why that error is coming so again i will be doing it again i will be doing it nine hundred 27 plus minus button enter this enter this is present value future value is 1000 this is future value 5 as n 5 as n and 100 100 as a, okay 5 as n 5 as n and 100 as so you not accepting that n is 5 okay enter and 100 and 100 as equal payment so i have to compute i have to compute how much is 
I Y again, you know, some some software problem is there. So no problems. I have written the steps here also. What I want to say you is that the actual earning, actual earning rate, actual earning rate to an investor is not interest rate. It is not the coupon rate. It is a buy in which the which the investor is earning. So that again I have discussed with the help of four case studies. So it is it is my humble request to you. Please note down these four case studies. These this is this is this will clear your concept. So case study number A. Write down four case studies. I will be firstly writing down case study number one. Then I will be solving it. I will be writing the conclu conclusion of that. Then case study number B. I will be solving it. Then a conclusion of that. I will be doing case study number C. And then the conclusion of that. And after all those conclusions, we will be discussing the most important point. So case study number one. Coupon rate as 12%. Maturity as 6 years. YTM as 8%. Coupon rate is 12%, maturity as 6 years, YTM is 8%. So there is a difference between coupon rate and YTM. Coupon rate is interest rate. Now YTM can be less than that or more than that. There is a difference. Now, now cost of debt is YTM. Cost of debt is not coupon rate. Calculate value of a bond. So if I want to calculate it, I have prepared a timeline. I have prepared a timeline. Just see to it and do the calculations. And do the calculations. I have written 6 times. T1, T2, T3, T4, T5, T6, 120. How I have calculated 120? 12% of 1000. 12%. 12% 1, of 1000. 12% of 1000 is equal to 120. So this is 120. 120, 120, 120, 120, 120. Face value is 1000. I have calculated value of bond as 1184. I will be doing it with the help of this calculator. Second clear TVM. 120 as PMT, 1000 as face value, 1000 as face value, 6 as N, 6 as N, 8 as IY, 8 as IY, compute present value and that is coming as 1184, 1184. There is some problem in this calculator otherwise I would have done it with the help of this also. Some software problem is there, okay no props, I am doing it again. For you clear work okay one thousand as future value okay nine hundred twenty seven as present value okay and hundred as and 100 as monthly payment and 100 as monthly payment so again i think there is there is some problem in this so we will do with the help of other calculator now 1184.92 i have told you now please these steps again i have written second clear tvm 1000 face value 120 as permanent 120 as pmt 120 as pmt and then 6 as n 6 as n 8 as iy i have written 8 as iy because ytm is 8 percent Compute present value that comes to 1184.92. The most important point I want to tell you is cost of debt is not open rate, cost of debt is YTM. So please write down case study number B. Face value 1000. Open rate is 15%, but this, this interest rate they pay six monthly, semi annually. Okay, okay. Maturity is three years, YTM is 18%, and face value is so I prepared a diagram for that for a timeline. How much is a coupon rate? How much is a coupon rate? That is 15%. So 15% of 1000 is 150 and that comes to 75. 75. I have written 75 for 6 years. Value of a bond. Now, now the value of a bond will be 932 rupees. But before doing it, I want to tell you with the help of a calculator, second clear TVM. Second clear TVM, 75 as payment now now the point is 75 because it is being paid semi annually and semi annually the number of years will be double actually maturity period is three years now but i will be taking ns6 six 
as n, 6 as n, 6 as n, 1000 as future value, 1000 as future value and, and I will be taking interest rate as 9% that is half of YTM, 9 as interest rate, compute present value that is coming to 932 rupees 71 let me try with the help of a calculator again i want to tell you something you know with the help of this calculator let's see whether software is okay or not 1000 as present value 1000 as present value 1000 is future value so I have written future value 1000, enter 927 is negative, it is present value, okay, and 6 as n, n is 6, okay, n is 6 and 9% is, 9% is, 9 is, n is 6, and interest rate as 9, interest rate I as 9, compute present value, again you know some problem is there, so I am not using this now, I have already told you, I have already told you the steps with the help of a calculator, so let's start with that, so case study number B, I have covered, now I will be doing case study number C, Calculate value of a bond as per following features. Calculate value of a bond as per following features. Face value is 1000. Market value is 970. Maturity is 6 years. Coupon rate is 12%. Calculate YT. Now, now in this I have given present value as well as I have given future value and I will be calculating YTM. Now with all these four case studies, I will prove that cost of debt is YTM and not interest rate. Face value is 1000. Market value is this. So it means I have to calculate IY. So second clear TVM. Second clear TVM. I have written the steps also. 1000 as face value. 970 as present value. Now 6 as N, 6 as N, N, and payment is 120 as equal payment, compute IY, compute IY, now compute IY, that IY is coming as 12.7, now but it is coming as error because, because in, in present value at least one figure should be negative, so I have to put the plus minus 9, 970 as negative, so again I will be doing it for you. Clear second clear TVM 970 plus minus button I am using that is present value 1000 as future value 6 as N and, and 120 as P, PMT compute interest rate that is coming to as 12.75 here it is so please draw the di timeline 120, 120, 120, 120. This is the interest rate which we'll be getting, and YTM is YTM is nothing but IRR, or it is nothing but IY. That is coming to be 12.75, and the steps which I have used in the calculator just now is very easy. Second clear TVM, 1000. Future value 970 plus minus present value. Plus minus present value, plus minus present value, plus minus present value. One twenty as equal payment, six as n compute IY, and that is coming to as twelve point seven five. It means cost of debt is twelve point seven five, YTM is twelve point seven five, and the last case study which I want to tell you. Then we will conclude this lecture. Calculate YTM as for the following features. Now, now if, if interest rate is paid semi annually, then how we will calculate YTM? It is again very easy. Firstly, we will double the N and then after calculating it, then we will multiply by 2. Face value is 1000, market value is 1070. So again, I am using it. Second clear TVM. Face value is 1000. It means redeemable value is 1000. 1000 future value 1070 plus minus button, plus minus button as present value, 
open rate is 11 percent now it is always per annum but it is paid annually uh, semi annually so 11 percent of 1000 is 110 and 50 percent of that half of that is half of that is half of that is 55 so 55 i am writing writing as pmt and 10 as n because 5 years semi annually so total is 10 compute iy that is coming to as 4.61 now this is semi annual so we will multiply 4.61 into 2 that comes to 9 point something so this steps i have already written please prepare a timeline my dear friends please sit straight this is the most important and technical lecture and we are preparing the foundation for the next lecture so so be careful please do it with the help of a calculator i have written those steps also 55 55 55 55 1000 irr is coming to ask 9.22 because 4.61 will be multiplied by 2 so 55 i have told you how i have calculated 55 11 percent of 1000 that comes to 110 7 only 55 and n is 10 so like this we have done the steps i have written those steps also second clear tdm please write on the steps and please press the buttons 1000 as future value minus 1070 as or minus 1070 as present value 10 as n 10 as n 55 as pmt compute this that comes to 4.61 and the total amount is 9.22 9.22 so like this we have concluded in today's lecture that how we can use ytm approach for calculating cost of debt no doubt I will be covering again this LOS B and LOS F. I will be continuing with in lecture number four. Because the because I have put a linkage between LOS B and LOS F. Hope you have enjoyed the lecture. Be happy, be jolly, be cheerful, be happy, be jolly.